Hello friends, this video on Cruelty Part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 7. Let's take one more example. A black and a red dye are rolled. So there is a black and a red dye. Find the conditional probability of obtaining a sum greater than 9. So you add these two values, you get number greater than 9. For example, this guy is x, this guy is y x plus y greater than 9 given that black die is 5 this is given. so the condition is that the black die is 5 so let me write in this fashion black and red so I'll write my output of uh, f let's suppose my f is a condition right so I'll find this guy is f let's suppose right f that is b is equal to 5 black die is 5 and i'm writing in the form of black and red so this can be black is 5 red can be 1 red can be 2 red can be 3 red can be 4 red can be 5 and red can be 6 so this is my uh, set the conditional set f where my black is 5 the second is we have to find the e because p e is to f where i say that sum is greater than 9 right so it can be uh, the possible scenarios for sum greater than 9 is uh, you get if you get 1 you get 6 here you get you don't get 9 so you can't take 1 you take 2 and 6 not 9 3 and 6 also not greater than 9 you can take 4 6 you can take 5 5 and 6 4 right and uh, you can take 4, 5 or 6, right, you take 4, you take 6 here, you take 5, you take uh, six, 5 here, and then again you take 5, 6, right, 5, 5, 5, 6, then you take 6, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. So you, if you take 4, you can take only 6 here. If you take 5 in the first die, let's suppose black, the red can be 5 and 6, then only you get number greater than 9, you add. If you take uh, consider that the black is 6, then red can be 4, 5 or 6, right? If you take red as 3, then 6 plus 3 is 9, there is no greater than 9. So this is my E event, right? Total S will have 36, right? Number 6 into 6. So my probability of E intersection F is nothing but probability of E uh, E given F is nothing but E intersection F by probability of F. So let's find E intersection F first. E intersection F will have what element? Uh, this guy. This guy. This guy. Two elements. Right? That is 5, 5 and 5, 6. So probability of E intersection F will be 2 by 36 and probability of f will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 36. 6 elements, right? 6 by 36. So if you solve this, this is nothing but 1 by 3. This is what you get using formula. You have the probability of f, that's condition that the black die is 5. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements. You define the probability of uh, the set of e. That sum is greater than 9, you have 6 elements. You have to find the intersection of E and F. You got 2 elements. Use the formula and got the answer. But if you see, still with this, the picture is not very clear. Let's use the, the graphical way. You throw, you either get F or you don't get F. F is nothing but black is equal to 5. Right? And this black is not equal to 5. So black is equal to 5. There are 6 options. You see. So this guy was 6 by 36. And this guy will be again 1 minus 6 by 36. That is 30 by 36. Obviously right. Because both the probability you add you get 1. Now in this if my black is 5. And there are 6 possible options right. These options are right here. 5 1. 5 2. 5 3. 5, 4, 5, 5, and 5, 6. 
The second condition is sum is greater than 9. Here sum is 6, not 9. 7, not 9. 8, not greater than 9. 9, not greater than 9. 10, yes, greater than 9. 11, yes, greater than 9. So if you see, if I am told that this is my condition, I'll start from here, right? That my black is fine, this is my condition. So I have six possible outcomes. Out of that, favorable outcome is 2. So my probability is favorable outcome that is 2 by total outcome that is 6. That is so if you see in both cases, you get same answer. In this case, the picture is a little more clear. So I saw everything both the ways. You can solve the way you want. And thus, that is my answer. Let's take one more example here. A uh, similar example here also one black and one red die is rolled. We define the conditional probability of obtaining the sum 8. Given that the red die resulted in number less than 4. That is probability of sum is equal to 8 given red is less than Correct. So if you see, red is less than 4. So let us assume this guy is set E and this guy is set F. So E has sum as 8. So I can say that sum as 8 can be, I can take 1. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. 7 is not a possible number. So I can start minimum with 2. 2 and 6 is 8. Uh, 3 and 5 is 8, 4 and 4 is 8, 5 and 3 is 8, and 6 and 2 is 8. This is a possible combination of black and red. So assume my sequence is black and red, right? So this is the possible combination of E. Sum is equal to E. For F, the red is less than 1. Red is my second number. Right, so my red is less than 1, red can be 1, 2, or 3. Some number, the black can be any number x, right? That means it can be any number actually. So I'll write it so many times 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. So my this my black can be any number, right? So black can be one, right? Black can be one. Sorry, black can be one, black can be two, black can be three, black can be four, five, or six. Right? Here also black can be one, two, three, four, five, six. Here also black can be one, two, three, four, five, six. There are 18 elements here, there are 6 elements here, and totally in sample space we'll have 36 elements, 6 into 6. So, probability of uh, E given F is nothing but probability of E intersection F by probability of F. So, what will be E intersection F? E intersection F will be 2, comma 6. Yes, it is there, 2, comma. 6 is not there actually, right? 3 comma 5 is there, no it's not there, 4 4 is not there, 5 3 is there, yes it is there, 6 2 is there, yes it is there. So there are two elements common, right? So right here, the intersection f is nothing but 5 3 and 6 2, correct? Only two elements common, right? So this becomes 2 by 36 because two elements common, favorable element by total element, and probability of f is six elements common by 36, 2 by 6 by 36. Correct? Sorry, probability of f, there are 18 elements common. 18. This guy is 18, right? So 18 by 36 that becomes 1 by 9. So probability of sum of is equal to 8 given that is less than 4 is 1 by 9. 
I can solve the same thing using graph. So there is a throw, you get either F or you don't get F. F is nothing but red less than 4 and here is red greater than or equal to 4. Correct. Red less than 4, I have these scenarios. Right. So I have like 18 scenarios. Out of these 18 scenarios, out of these 18 scenarios, these are all scenarios, I am looking for uh, sum is equal to 8. There are only two possible options where sum is equal to 8. If you see, sum is not 8, sum is not 8, sum is not 8. None of these sum is 8, only at this and this sum is 8. So I am looking only for two scenarios out of 18 scenarios where sum is equal to 8. Right? So my probability of E condition F is 2 by 18 because now my base is this out of these set 18 set I am looking for sum is equal to 8 and there are only two scenarios. So favorable condition is 2 by total total in this case sample space will be 18 because this is my base condition now 2 by 18 that is 1 by 9 and that is my answer. Correct. So using this graph also I was able to solve this question. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.